Hello everyone! In this video, we will be able to convert fractions to decimals using equivalent fractions. So, now that we know how to convert fractions with denominators of 10 or 100, we can try to write equivalent fractions with denominators of 10 or 100 to convert fractions to decimals. Let me show you an example. So you want to ask yourself, when you see a fraction like 1 fourth, can I multiply the denominator by something to get 10 or 100, since we know how to do those really well. So I, here I have 1 fourth, and in my head I'm thinking, what can I multiply 4 by to get 10 or 100? So I start to think of money, quarters. 4 quarters makes $1. So I know that 4 times 25 is 100. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by 25 and the numerator. Whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do to the top as well. So now we multiply across. 1 times 25 is 25. And 4 times 25 is 25. Oh no, sorry. 4 times 25 is 100. 100. And now I have the fraction 25 hundredths, 25 over 100. And from our other lesson, we learned that we can write this as 0 0.25. It's really important to remember that this number, 25 over 25, equals 1. So that's why we can do this. Let's try another one. 2 fifths, 2 over 5. What can I multiply the denominator by to get 10 or 100? So 5, if I multiply 5 by 2, I get 10. And whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top as well. So 2 times 2 is 4. So that means 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths. 4 tenths, I know how to write as a decimal. 0 0.4 with a 4 in the tenths place, 4 tenths. So that is um, writing our decimals, our fractions as decimals. Let's try one more. 7 over 20, 7 twentieths. See if you can write this as a decimal. All right, so what number can I multiply the top and bottom by? So that the bottom equals 100 or 10. So 20 times 5, if I have five $20 bills, I have $100. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 5. 7 times 5 is 35. And 20 times 5 is 100. 35 over 100 or 35 hundredths. I'll write a decimal in the hundredth place. 35 hundredths. Great job.